Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today EB's got some more Ninja Turtles. Have you subscribed yet? If not, you should. Well, not too long ago, I got another Walmart package and in that Walmart package was a Ninja Turtles exclusive six pack from Playmates. And uh, it's in a pretty sweet package. Some of you may recognize a similar package with the, I believe it was the San Diego Comic-Con where they reissued the classic Turtles in a six pack. And this is the comic version. Mine got a little uh, front end damage thanks to, I believe it was FedEx, but it actually is not that noticeable, thank God. I, I know I'm not gonna open the actual figures. I'll take them out of this package to show y'all, but I'm gonna probably keep the figures in their actual cards, so. First things first, let's cut her open. These are still available on Walmart's website as of the time I'm recording this episode. So I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check them out. They were 40 bucks, which to me is pretty good for six figures. Cool, on the bottom it actually shows you the figures, which is what I'm gonna show you too. Just have to figure out how to open the box without damaging it. Oh, come on, or damaging it more at least. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Did I cut the tape? Good lord, I thought I cut the tape. I did cut the tape. It re retached. There. Woohoo! All right. So they're nice nice and packed in there pretty well. You can see the Playmates logo on the bottom. So I'm going to set this down. We'll just take one at a time. And up first is... Sh uh, pff, I almost called him Shredder. Splinter. Derp, derp. And uh, this does look like, to me, it looks like the old school Playmates figure, just done in a different color. I never had the original Splinter. Um, it does look like his the same uh, weapons as well. Some of you may have seen the uh, reissued Playmates 35th anniversary Walmart exclusive where they were all black and white. I have that as well. It's going off of the similar artwork for that because it is a comic book too. Then they have the card back, which I'm assuming is going to be the same on all of them. All right. There he is. Let's move on to number two. All right, and here we got Leonardo. And some of you may not from be familiar with the comic books, but in the comic books, they all have the red bandanas, just so you know. And yeah, so he he is definitely not the old school uh, Playmates 1987-ish, 88-ish character, but he is, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's still a reissued figure. I don't think it's a new sculpt but it's definitely not the old Leonardo that some of us are used to. He doesn't have much for accessories. Just his two swords, that's kind of lame. And it is the same card back. So I'm assuming it's the same card back, which or I assumed it was, and it looks like they just replaced this thingamabobber. So on to number three. We have Michelangelo, yes also in red. Has no accessories either, other than his nunchakos. Which is okay. I mean, for somebody that's going to leave him in the package, I don't really give a crap what's in the in the box, as long as you can see some of the stuff, because, well, you want him to look like Michelangelo. Oh, here we go with Shredder. And he is, for sure, the old sculpt, just with the repaint. Man, I never had the original Shredder, and he is horrific looking. He looks nothing like the actual... Uh, character in the cartoon at least yeah they just kind of painted his naked chest in this one and he he does look like he does in the comics i mean they're black and white but regardless he looks a lot better and he has his eyebrows on his helmet yep that's right he has eyebrows on his helmet just like the old school figure thought they would have corrected that, that for this but apparently that was too challenging same back two more Bet they're both turtles. All right, here we got Raphael, which everyone recognizes him because he's in red and he has a size. Oh, whoops. Go back to Shredhead here and he has way more uh, accessories. That's weird that the two non-turtles have significantly more accessories. Well, Raph has a size and they look... I don't recognize them from any of the figures I'm used to. They look a little larger. They, actually, they look pretty nice. And... My favorite for last. At least it better be. Yep, Donatello. 
That would have sucked if they would have doubled up on somebody. And only his bow for his accessory. That's super lame considering he only has one thing. He could have thrown something else in. I don't recognize this bow either. Actually, this bow looks like it might be from the, um, the 2012 series, I think it was. I think it was 2012s. The CG one, that's what it looks like the bow might be from. I have a couple of those figures downstairs. I said downstairs, but none of you have been to my house, so you don't know what room this is. All in all, they're pretty cool. I, uh, I'm pleased for what they are. 40 bucks, six figures, that's a steal, really, and nowadays. Pretty happy with them. I'm probably going to shove them back in the box for a while and just display them in the van. But, hey, you never know. Doodly doo, here's the van. You can see uh, April's driving too. It's kind of funny that they put April on the package, but then not as one of the figures. I'm okay with that, but just kind of odd choice, I guess, in my mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my new Facebook page. There'll be a link in the description. I post some pictures of packages I'm getting on going over the course of the week and kind of a preview of what might be coming. Well, till next time, peace out.